Hey there friends, how's it going? My name is Kevin, and today we're doing something a little bit different, which is basically not different at all, because everything seems to be a little different these days. And today we're doing something a little bit different. And today we're doing something a little bit different. And today we're doing something a little bit different. And today we're doing something a little bit different. And today we're doing something a little bit different. But today we're going to be watching Tegeshi's Castle, a show that I used to watch a lot when I was young, which kind of makes sense now when I think about it, because it's basically watching people getting just tormented by all these challenges they have to go through. If you've seen this, I'm sure you're ready for a trip down nostalgia lane. And if you haven't, you're going to want to find out what this show is all about, because it is fantastic. All right, let's let's dive right in. <laughs> Immediately, you're like, what the hell is going on? People dressed as massive hands falling over each other. Coming up, we're losing our minds in the honeycomb maze. Oh, the honeycomb maze. This thing is feckin' terrifying, honestly. I don't know why anyone would want to do this show. But look at all of them. They look so eager. They're ready to be tortured. They remind me of my sims. <laughs> Smiling while the world burns around them. So here they go. This is the first challenge. Okay, he failed immediately. <laughs> But how this show works is they have to do these challenges and if they get through, they get through to the next round and you want to get to that, the final essentially. But we'll get there, don't worry. But look how terrifying this thing is. Like they're just running through doors getting chased by these monsters in a maze and you can't go slow. So if you run through and it's water, you just fall right in. It's terrifying. Also, I'm pretty sure he just said they can't swim. None of our contestants can swim. And no, that wasn't a joke. He's being serious. Oh my God, what are they doing to them? Like you'd never sleep again if this happened to you. Look at that guy. It's so scary. Oh, they're letting her go. Oh, no, wait. No, they're not. I don't think you could do this stuff anymore. <laughs> what the hell? Like, if you took that clip and just put it black and white, maybe put a little bit more static, the show has enough as it is, but a little bit more static, then added some text saying, like, torture footage from the Irish Civil War. <laughs> I know they don't look Irish, but hey, it'll be so static you won't be able to tell. But you'd almost believe it's legit. She's excited. Like, why are they all so excited for this? Maybe they're just more fun people, because I think I'd be crying before I even start. Not a mind when he's chasing me like that. Oh, you're going the wrong way, you silly old bat! Well, she doesn't know that, but like, please. Oh, okay. She even saw the water was there. She was just like, I'm not dealing with this. It just walked in. What a silly old bat. Don't call her a silly old bat. She had no idea. It reminds me of doing Let's Plays on games like Portal, where people know the solution. And then because you take more than five seconds to figure it out, they're like, you're so stupid. <laughs> just because you know the solution. Oh, this... This is a win. He's feckin' excited. Oh god, that excitement didn't last long. He's just panicking, trying to get back out. <laughs> He's almost got it. He's almost got it. He's got it. Yes! I knew my fate was well placed in him. I can imagine me showing up in this show. I'd have like water wings on and everything. <laughs> oh my god. He's fighting him. This is a cage match. I like how they show the replay of him being tormented as well. Like that is really, really traumatic, I would imagine. It looks traumatic from an overhead view, not a mind like if it was from his perspective. <laughs> oh. Oh, if they bring this back, they should put on like GoPros or something. It would be terrifying. He led the beasties a merry dance. Yeah, I don't know how he actually did this. He literally hit every door that was safe. <laughs> if he hit any of the other doors, he would have gone into the water. All right, this one's called Show of Hands, which is just a fantastic pun. <laughs> this is the one we saw in the intro where they're all hands. So they tell them a card and then they've got to run and land on the correct card, I believe. Quite difficult to comment on though, unless you've got a first class honors degree in Japanese. Yeah, I was thinking the same thing, Mr. Commentator. There's not much to add, really. It's just people in hands just flopping onto the cards. <laughs> Japanese TV must be amazing. Oh. oh, they're lost. Oh, they're lost. They need a hand. Come on, help them out. Okay, that was bad. I'm sorry. Did they Did they win? I wish I could understand what they're looking for. None of these questions can be answered by your commentator today. At least all the commentators is confused as I am. Where the hell is it? Why can they not find it? It's as if they can only look right in front of them because they're wearing massive hand outfits. <laughs> I should really give them more slack. They just did it so fast every other round. Like, look at this. Oh wait, maybe not. Look at this. Okay, no, look at this. <laughs> they got it immediately. This is what the Hunger Games should have been. Honestly, I think they missed a beat. It should have just been a giant game of Tegeshi's Castle. <laughs> Would be a lot more entertaining to watch, and they couldn't screw around with the rules as much. It's like you're dressed as giant hands jumping on cards. You can't just boat threaten to kill yourselves, okay? That's not how you're gonna get out of this. This one is absolutely horrible. Some of the rocks are safe and some are not, like that one that she just stood on. But some of them just go for it, like this guy who just smashed his ribs. 
Oh god, he's not having children. <laughs> oh Jesus, that was awful. To make it, you gotta have confidence, but also okay, maybe not this much confidence. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! He mistimed that entirely. But what I was saying is you have to have confidence, but not- What is happening? Don't leave him do it, he's drunk! He's falling before he gets there! That was irresponsible of them. But what I'm trying to say- <laughs> It's hard when I'm watching him in slow motion do this. Is that you have to have confidence. Also, confidence gets you injured in this one really, really fast. <laughs> okay, this person has it. They're confident, but not- They're down. All right, I was wrong, okay, for once. Maybe a spot of physiotherapy required after that one. Oh, I think physiotherapy is needed for all of them. And in general, just therapy. This is traumatic. Oh, God. I think he needs a GPS. <laughs> he just jumped off to the side for no reason. We've got karaoke. Oh, I can't wait for the karaoke. I don't even understand how that, that works. Like, how do you win it? But I guess we'll find out. That's the end of part one. <laughs> I'll see you in the next video. Shout out to Patreon's Heinrich420. Oh, wait, no, it doesn't work like that on my YouTube channel. Sorry, we're going to continue and watch part two. So this one's simple. It's just a balancing act. That's all it is. You just got to... Keep your balance and also turn. <laughs> okay, it's not that simple, but she's done it. Out of all of the ones they've done so far, this one is probably the one I'd be most willing to do, but I'd still be screaming. <laughs> I don't like getting wet, all right? I just don't like it. I've picked an unfortunate country to live in since it rains here all the time. The girls seem to be doing a lot better than the guys. The guys are doing pretty horrible. This guy's leaning forward, so you know it's gonna be bad. Yeah, he's... he's gone. <laughs> he's just waving to them. <laughs> it's like an over-the-top stuntman or something. Imagine you came all the way out here to do that. You probably signed a contract about this big <laughs> as a waiver, and then you fall out of the ball immediately and you're out. Okay, this one's called fish food. I... Don't really remember this one. Oh god, yeah, I remember this one. <laughs> Again, this one seems more f fun. All right, maybe I wouldn't do it. I just don't want to break my ribs. That's all I want to. God, that thing is fast. Like, it goes from 0 to 60 in about 0.1 seconds. It's got better acceleration than most cars. Green helmet. Oh, <laughs> the poor guy. The poor guy. Hopefully it'll give him amnesia so he'll just forget this whole experience. Yeah, it's on a feckin' string. How the hell are you supposed to stay on that? These games are so hard. Oh god. Oh god. Interesting strategy. I mean, he stayed on. I think only, like, two people got past the second obstacle. No one got through. Oh, that's fine. We're on to karaoke. This will calm us down. I love a bit of karaoke. I hope they sing all the hits, like All Star. Or I'm a believer. Anything that Smash Mouth sings, I'm, I'm totally down for. Oh my god, even in karaoke, they're still falling over. They get everyone drunk before this. Guaranteed. Like, you'd have to be drunk to agree to all these. They're all dancing to this. I mean, it's gotta be a winner if they're that good. It's like a sitcom when a cameo happens or something. They all applaud and laugh when he comes in the door and he gives the old. <laughs> I think he's got stage fright. Wait, is is he singing? I think he is. I've heard this one before on the radio, I think. Oh god, they don't like it. They don't like it. They don't like romance songs. They've been through a heartbreak. <laughs> okay, this is the challenge I would most rather do. Plus, I know plenty of K-pop and stuff. I could do Johnny Cash, Ring of Fire up there. Is she good? Oh, he's enjoying it. I think that's the important thing. I think those people sitting down make the call on this one for some reason. The host is just happy to be there. He reminds me of Turg. Same fashion sense, too. Oh my god, is she gonna do some reggae with that hat? <laughs> I think that's reggae. <laughs> I, I don't know what's happening. <laughs> I think they're getting rid of her. <laughs> oh my god, she's scared. I, oh, there's no need to push her. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Pushed her twice. <laughs> oh, we got another cameo coming in here. Everyone laughs as he comes in. Oh, he's got showmanship. You gotta put him through. I don't know what he's singing or if he's singing well, but that showmanship, it gets an A+. plus. That's enough to carry him through in my book. Oh, not not in their book, though. We're, we're reading from very different books. I think that gets you killed in his book, to be honest. He doesn't even care. He's happy he's going home. Maybe that's why he was celebrating. <laughs> I'm going home. Oh, he's doing a warm-up. He's getting ready to sing. I've heard of vocal warm-ups, but I don't think this is it. Wait, I think he's just leaving. He- what? He didn't even sing. He just did a little warm-up. There was some bribery going on there. Oh, all the souls who have failed on their way to the castle. Okay, so now we're at the showdown. This is where all our winners gather together to assault the castle. I'm just gonna pause it for a second here, because I want to explain 
about this show and how you win it is you basically have to kill all the guards. Well, not kill them. That would be a bit extreme. You go from karaoke to murder. <laughs> Although I'm sure this show might drive you to killing someone. But what you gotta do is shoot out this little circle on the front of their cars so their cars won't work. And they're trying to do the same to the contestants. I've only seen people win it once. And I don't know what the prize is, and I'm sure the commentator even said it, that they're not sure what they're gonna win. And it was never really explained as far as I know. I'm sure it probably was in Japan, but I never saw an explanation, so I don't know what they win. And the chances of these people winning are extremely slim, but let's see what they can do. So how many do we have? We have five here. They've got these little small carts, and the guards have more people on each, and better cars in general. And they're probably a bit more coordinated, given the contestants are bashing into each other. Yeah, you can see there that they've they've broken the, the pad on front of the contestants one so it's not moving anymore and look at that even their guns are better i think this guy's shooting his own pad <laughs> i think there's one left already oh no there's two left but look at them they're just cleaning up they're just going right up to them they don't even care <laughs> after all that <laughs> an entire day of being tortured and you're gone like that eh? he's like how could this have happened? I really thought we had him this time. What's the saying? Hundredth time lucky? And that's the ending. Very anticlimactic after you build it all the way up like that. And it took so many people, so much effort to actually get to the end. And uh, that's how it ends. But yeah, I think we're going to leave it there. Let me know what you think of Takeshi's Castle in the comments. I'd be very curious to see how many of you watched as a child. Because I don't know how common it was. I'm not sure how how global it was. So it'll be really interesting to see. If, if you watched it, or, or if you didn't watch it, or and if you never heard of it, I'd be very interested to, to hear about it. And if you could include your country in the comments as well, I'd be very, very curious. But uh, yeah, we're going to end it there. I hope you enjoyed. If you have any other shows like this that you'd like me to take a look at, wacky shows or just old shows in general, I love that kind of thing. So do let me know. I hope you're staying safe given the, the strange times we find ourselves in. I appreciate watching as always, and I hope to see you next time. Bye for now.